Hey there, Crafty Hackers! Today we've got some fun projects to help you make a miniature high school for your dolls. We think you're going to love these. But first, make sure you show us some love by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and clicking the thumbs up button if you liked this video. Okay everyone, school is in session! Folders to make some cute little binders for Barbie, fold a small rectangular piece of construction paper in two pieces in the center. Punch a small hole in the bottom of the center and glue a label to the top center. Make more than just one color so Barbie can keep her subjects color-coded. History, math, science, and English lit. She's ready to go. Organizer set for pens. First, sharpen a toothpick with a pencil sharpener. Snip the toothpick in half. Do this a few times until you have a handful of tiny pens. Use the pencil sharpener as your holder and place your miniature pens inside. School cabinet. Grab an empty cereal box and some adhesive contact paper. We like the look of this wood grain paper. Cut out the front, top half of your cereal box and cover with the contact paper. Use a piece of the box to make a shelf like this one. Just glue it into place. This cabinet needs a couple of doors. Cut a slit up the center and along the bottom. Make another shelf to go on the top of the doors. Use sparkly jewel beads as doorknobs. Glue them on the front. Perfect for the latest science project. School chair and desk. Trace this design out onto a piece of foam board. Then stick on a piece of contact paper and trim it to fit. Use the stem from an artificial flower as desk legs. Cut and bend like this. Glue them to the bottom of the desk. Now for the chair. Snip out two pieces about this size and shape for the seat and back of the chair. Stick on the contact paper, trim, and now you're ready for the legs. Hello, straws! Cut them into four even pieces and snip two more to hold the back on. Have your parents help you with the hot glue gun and glue the straws to the chair seat and back. Then glue the legs on. That's all there is to it. Teacher's Desk Pro tip, save your matchboxes. They are so versatile, they can be almost anything. First, glue two stacks of matchboxes. One stack should have five matchboxes and the other should have seven. Then cover with wood grain style contact paper. Cover the large matchbox with the same contact paper. Next. Glue the matchbox sticks to the larger matchbox so that the taller stack is even with the desktop. And the shorter stack goes underneath. These pearl beads are perfect for drawer knobs. Now the teacher has a place for all her supplies. Skeleton. No science class would be complete without a skeleton model. For yours, print a skeleton picture onto a piece of paper, then cut it out. After that, glue your skeleton onto a piece of foam board. Have your parents cut the skeleton out with an X-Acto knife. Then, glue the feet to a foam board stand. A plus! Teacher outfit. Hello, sock! We're going to turn you into a skirt for the teacher. First, cut the heel and toes off the sock. Cut a slit up the side so it can open up. Next, measure it around the teacher's hips and pin it. Sew it up at the pin line. Cut away the excess fabric and turn the skirt right side out. From sock to pencil skirt, so far so good. You know that mismatched glove in the bottom of your drawer? Let's cut it in half. Snip two fingers off and cut off the ends. Cut the side of the glove and open it up. Do the same for the other half of the glove, so you've got two equal pieces of fabric. 
Measure to your doll's body. Then cut a little v-neck and add some shoulders into both sides of the fabric. Those glove fingers are going to be our sleeves. Put it all together and start sewing. It started as a glove, but now it's a cozy sweater. Now that's a smart outfit. Paper stand. To make this, glue a stack of paper together at the top. Glue a piece of straw to the top. Then add two more full straws to make the stand. Add a third straw in the back so it stands up like an easel. Now your teacher can give lectures on the molecular structure of water. Nice going! Clock. It is important to be punctual for school, so let's make a clock. Print and cut out a clock face. Then set it on a piece of aluminum foil and cover it in clear hot glue. Laboratory bottles. First, cut out a small rectangle and about four strips of white foam board. Glue the strips to the rectangular piece, like this. Add some sides, trimming them to fit. Then add these little square pieces in between. Snip some one inch pieces from a pack of multicolored straws. Stick them into the holder you made. And now Barbie can perform her chemistry experiments. Use a marker to make measurement lines so Barbie can be as accurate as possible. Insects. Let's spruce up the science lab even more with these insect displays. Stick a printed butterfly onto a piece of black construction paper. Then glue a small strip of the paper to the back and bend it to create a stand. Instant butterfly display. Plants. Cut a piece of red foam board into this shape to make a pot. Bend it around and glue the sides together. Cut it to the size you want. Then grab a ball of black Play-Doh. This is going to be your potting soil. Stuff it into your pot. Now stick a small artificial plant into the soil. Add a few leaves and flowers. Whatever you like. Looks pretty legit, right? School board. To make this display board, bend a piece of white foam board into three sections. Use a ruler to fold straight lines. We just found this chalkboard contact paper and we are loving it. We cut it to size and stuck it into the foam board. Just a little adjustment and it's ready for Barbie's class presentation. Posters. For anatomy class, we printed out a little poster of the vascular system. Then we made a loop out of a thin strip of ribbon and glued it to the back. We did the same for these molecule and physics posters. Now they are ready to adorn the walls of Barbie's classroom. Speaking of walls, let's make the classroom. Snag a big box like this one and cut off two sides. Glue the box like this so it has three walls and a floor. Glue the flooring down. <gasps> Ouch! Careful not to burn yourself. We like this construction paper for the walls. Feel free to make the walls different colors. Place your cabinet inside against the wall. Add the other furniture, equipment, and displays. And you've got a full functioning classroom for Barbie's learning needs. Design the classroom in whatever way you like. You can rearrange it as much as you want. We are officially giving you an A-plus on this classroom project. It's got everything Barbie needs to become a stellar student. Way to go, you guys! Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.